Space Pilot 3000, the pilot episode we're taking a look at for the saddest moments of reality for Fry, but before we get started, if you enjoy Futurama nostalgia, leave a like and subscribe so we know, as we're bringing more Futurama content. Now, let's get started. To start off our list, we'll begin with the first sad moment we get introduced to with Fry. We see he has a dead-end job with no benefits as a delivery boy at a pizza place. And we're on no jokes when we say no benefits, his boss doesn't respect him and he's not even allowed to get tips. It says so on the pizza box itself. So we see how sad a job this is to him right off the bat. But not only that, we get that moment where we see his relationship with his girlfriend is just as poor as his job. This happens while on his pizza delivery trip we see his girlfriend who turns out to be cheating on him, and without remorse at that, and with no apology, she shouts from the taxi cab how she left his stuff out on the sidewalk. Heartbroken and just angry with his life as it is, Fry continues on his pizza delivery trip, openly admitting to hating his life. Next, on that same trip, we get a moment that ties in with the first moment on this list. So here's what happened, after getting his bike stolen on the delivery trip, we get a moment where Fry reflects on his life. This happens after he realizes that the delivery was a prank, he reflects and vents to himself, saying that he always thought that at that point of his life, he'd be the one making the prank calls, instead of getting pranked as a delivery boy. Next we have the moment when he actually wakes up in the future, at first, he's seemingly sad as he comes to the realization that he'll never see his parents, co-workers and girlfriend again. He appears happy after seeing the bright side to this though, having no baggage of those things that long since bothered him, gone now in an instant to him. Perhaps it just never synced in emotionally of what his situation was at that time. Following right after this, we have the moment Fry learns the year he's now in. After just meeting Leela for the first time, he sees the date and she confirms that it indeed the current year. And his response really said it all. Saying, my god, a million years, from the shock he gets from seeing this, and we start to see the realization of his situation start to sink in with him. Our next moment for Fry is when he's to be assigned a work chip and hears that he has to be a delivery boy again, a job he resents, talk about a smack from the past when he refuses he's told he would have be fired from a cannonball if he says no. It's also here that we're introduced to the theme, you gotta do what you gotta do. One of the darker things in the series, we see Fry almost get killed thinking he was going into a telephone booth, not realizing it's a legal killing machine, he never even notices that no one came out of the booth after going in. What especially makes this dark is the fact that there were so many people going in casually and for so cheap at only 25 cents. And finally, after trying to escape Leela who is assigned to implant his work chip, Fry escapes to a sewer where he sees his old home, now called Old New York, upon seeing the decaying old ruins from Old New York, it finally hits him hard. His past life that he knew and everyone he ever loved is now gone, he starts reminiscing, even in his cheating ex, and gets depressed at this point, not even trying to escape Leela anymore, who sympathizes with his loss as she understands it herself. She went further to show him how she can relate, never knowing her true home, or parents, feeling intense loneliness, as he now does, and later even joins him as she detests the theme that says, you gotta do what you gotta do. Revealing Fry made her realize how much she detested her job, and it's here, from this mutual, sad reality, that their friendship was born. Well, that takes care of the saddest moments of reality from the pilot episode, it's really the sad, and happy moments, that come together to make this a great series, so look out for the best moments of the series, from this channel soon. If you enjoyed the content, please remember to like, share and subscribe, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.